I must say that everyone uh, from the region was very pleased uh, to be here today in Berlin, eight years after the Berlin process was launched in this very same building. And uh, I must also say that uh, Angela Merkel was proven right, because uh, if today we have a united region in a very complicated moment of history for all Europe and for the whole Euro-Atlantic uh, community. The public uh, secret is the Berlin process. When we gathered here for the first time, we hadn't met each other for centuries. And uh, nowadays, this is very, very much what we all like to do. And I would like to really uh, thank wholeheartedly Chancellor Scholz for uh, his engagement, for the great hospitality, for the outstanding German bread, and uh, of course, uh, last but not least, for trusting Albania and myself to host the next uh, Berlin Process Summit in our wonderful country. And uh, I very much hope that uh, what was discussed today and taken carefully uh, in the notes of the Chancellery will uh, see uh, progress in the next uh, summit in Tirana, starting from the energy crisis, where uh, we feel that we are not left aside, we are not alone, because uh, just a few days ago um, the President of the European Commission, Ursula, uh, made a tour in the Balkans and uh, she didn't just bring nice words of solidarity, but also uh, very important financial support uh, important to start with, not to end with, of course. Uh, and uh, in the same time, we are looking forward to see progress in the interconnectivity. As the Chancellor pointed out very, very clearly, it's not about connecting our own infrastructure, highways in our countries, but it's about connecting the region and Europe with the region and vice versa. Uh, we hope to see progress in the digital sphere because these were the three main pillars of the Berlin process since day one, energy, uh, interconnectivity and digital. But today we are also facing the challenge of cybersecurity and it was discussed. And uh, of course uh, we want to see things move in the right direction for our young people. We have uh, raised again the issue of how we can faster integrate with the European uh, higher education system, our universities, and uh, also of, uh, of, of, of on how we can uh, have more uh, presence from uh, uh, Germany and other uh, EU uh, well-developed countries through their private sector and not just uh, uh, public funding. Uh, to end with my, uh, I hope, short uh, um, introduction, I want to say that uh, it's very important what we signed today. Uh, I cannot prevent myself to underline that these agreements were three agreements that we were looking forward since two or three years. They were blocked. The Chancellery, uh, the Chancellor, his team uh, really worked very hard together with uh, our people to convince everyone to sign. And it's a great, great news that uh, we had today three important signatures that we already had in the Open Balkan Framework. So it's very important 
that uh, now everyone is uh, included in this, uh, in this framework of um, uh, the three uh, agreements. Of course, uh, sounds a bit, a bit uh, weird or, or, or a bit uh, alienating for the people of Kosovo that while they made another step through the government to sign this uh, free movement with ID cards, can't yet move freely uh, as everyone else in the region when it comes to uh, the European Union. And I very much hope that this will be solved sooner more than later. So looking forward to host uh, everyone next year in Tirana and uh, being very, very happy that we will host the Chancellor and others next month in Tirana again. We were uh, laughing a bit because everyone was talking about uh, becoming a hub of energy, but apparently Tirana is becoming a hub of summits. <laughs>